Well, I have a bit of breaking news for you today. It has to do with Tesla's lineup. Now, as we have turned into 2023, Tesla is facing some very uncertain times with both the economy and demand for their products. Of course, with interest rates continuing to climb and that expected to happen again here in February, that's really not good news for luxury products like a Tesla. Now, at the end of the year, Tesla did offer some pretty substantial discounts. They ended up giving $7,500 off all Teslas. All four models that are currently available got $7,500 off and 10,000 supercharging miles for up to two years. This was a phenomenal deal. And when this did happen, I told you guys this was a fantastic deal because it was a discount on the price it's not a tax credit at the end of the year, so there's no income qualifications. There's no worry about the car qualifying for tax credits. And because it's off the price of the car, that means you save on taxes as well. Just like we expected, January 1st came around and those discounts disappeared. Right at the end of the year, I kept checking on inventory. And as soon as it went from 3750 discount to 7500 the Model 3 and Model Y inventory dwindled very, very fast. So by the end of the year, you were lucky if you were able to snag one of them anywhere that was local to you. That was the only way you could get this. It had to be in inventory. Now, technically, you could have created an order, and if it did match a car that was in transit, it could have worked for you in time. But last week of the year, there were a ton of cars that were moved across the board. Today is January 9th, and at this point in time, there are a ton of Model Ys and Model 3s in inventory within 200 miles of Central Florida. This is not a good situation for Tesla to be in, and I'm gonna talk more about that later, but first, let's talk about what just happened today. I do wanna take a moment to thank our sponsor of today's video, Drive Protected Shop. If you are considering doing PPF on your vehicle like I have done for all of my Teslas, you should seriously consider doing a DIY PPF kit from Drive Protected Shop. You stand to save literally thousands, and the best quote I got on my Model Y was about $5,000. I did it myself, saved half, and still have the car completely wrapped and protected. I of course have videos of my own of installing these PPFs, but if there are specific areas you want to take a look at, make sure to visit Drive Protected Shop's YouTube page, which is linked below. Also, don't forget to use code BTG20, which will save you 20% on your order. So thanks again to Drive Protected Shop for sponsoring this video. Well, just today, looking at inventory of Model Ys, I did notice that that standard range all-wheel drive Model Y that we had for a very short period of time from Giga Austin is now starting to show up in inventory once again. Now, when this originally happened, Tesla started doing this by offering it in inventory only, and they also reached out to existing order holders to give them the opportunity to change to this standard range Model Y. Now, this does seem to be coming back and it's coming back at the last price point that we did see this at, which is 61,990. There's only one within 200 miles of my location and this particular one has black paint. So there's another $1,500 on it for that, giving it a price tag of 63,490. Now, just to give you a refresher on what the standard range Model Y gives you, it is commonly known as the standard range Model Y because at a price tag of 61,990, it gets you 279 miles of range. That is compared to 330 of the long range all-wheel drive. Both models do come with all-wheel drive and the zero to 60 time difference is 0.2 seconds, which is very minimal. It is a five second zero to 60, which is still a very quick car. Now, I'm not terribly surprised to see this because at the very beginning of the year, it was spotted in code on the website that a all-wheel drive Model Y listed at 61,990 did show up. So it was just a matter of time to see when this may or may not show up. And here we are about a week later and it's available now for you to purchase. You're only gonna be able to get this by looking at inventory just like in the past, but this is exclusively from Giga Austin and it's equipped with the 4680 battery cells. Looking back at last year, Giga Austin opened with quite the fanfare. And when it did happen, they also started selling directly to employees this all-wheel drive Model Y or standard range Model Y. 
For employees, it was $59,990. And come May, it started to deliver to actual customers, not employees of Tesla. And it was limited to those closest to the plant before ultimately spreading out to the rest of the country. In June, it did go through a $2,000 price increase, which got it to $61,990 which is the price we're seeing today as well. Is this a good deal? And only you can answer that for yourself, but I will say this. It is $4,000 less than the long range all wheel drive. And the only difference you will notice in this car versus the long range all wheel drive is it has slightly less range. As a matter of fact, it's 51 miles less stated range as rated by the EPA. And other than that, it is a hair slower than the long range all wheel drive. So very little is lost in the situation. However, bringing back a standard range, you would assume it's because they wanna bring the price down, which technically they did, but it does not bring the price down enough for the Model Y to achieve the tax credits that are available for a five passenger Model Y. As you know, at the beginning of the year, the IRS did release their list of each model and each trim that will qualify for tax credits and which MSRP cap they will be associated with. We were completely caught off guard when we saw the Model Y was broken up into two different MSRP caps. There is a MSRP cap of $55,000 for the five passenger Model Y and $80,000 for the seven passenger Model Y. Now, why is that? There's a lot of contradictions in all the cars that do and do not qualify. And there was a lot of confusion when this first came out. As example, the Volkswagen ID4 in two wheel drive configuration has a $55,000 MSRP cap. Now, if you get the all wheel drive version, it has an 80,000 MSRP cap. Now the ID4, whether you get two wheel or four wheel, it only comes in five passenger configuration. We're finding out all wheel drive is also not the determining factor as the Model Y only comes in all wheel drive. As it turns out, the IRS's guidance on what is an SUV is, an SUV is either a three row or has a gross vehicle weight of over 6,000 pounds. So this helps us to understand better how this breaks down. There is one little problem here though, and it is the Audi Q5. There's a little bit of a contradiction here. The Audi Q5 only comes in five passenger configuration. Of course, it does have all wheel drive. However, there is no gross vehicle weight rating listed anywhere for the 2023 model that is conclusive. The 2022 gross vehicle weight rating of the Q5 plug-in hybrid electric vehicle was 5,490 pounds. So there must have been 510 pounds added to the capability of the Q5 for 2023, or they're somehow sliding through. So until we get that official information about the 2023 Audi Q5 plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, there's no way to really know how that thing qualifies and the Model Y does not. So this all starts to come full circle. The five passenger Model Y as it sits today is not going to qualify for an 80,000 MSRP cap. So Tesla has some options. They can add additional capacity to the Model Y in five seat configuration by adding a beefier suspension or something along those lines. In addition, they're going to have to find a way to bring prices down on some of the Model 3s as well. As this sits right now, the Model 3 standard range and the seven passenger Model Y are the only two Teslas that currently qualify under these MSRP caps. And that's a big problem. Tesla's Model Y at 65,990 is $11,000 too expensive. For Tesla to find a way to reduce the price, $11,000 is going to be quite a feat. However, Tesla only needs to improve the gross vehicle weight rating of the Model Y by 300 pounds. And this thing can then qualify for an 80,000 MSRP cap. I think that is extremely likely to happen in the coming weeks as Tesla moves quickly to ensure their Tesla Model Y qualifies for that whole tax credit. For the Model 3, the standard range should be good, at least for now. The long range is still sitting at 57,990 when you find it in inventory. Keep an eye out for that $3,000 reduction to come very soon. So if this inventory continues to grow from this point, it's gonna be hard to say that Tesla doesn't have to do anything. They're probably gonna have to take some action and we're gonna probably start seeing prices 
come down a bit over time. So Tesla has a big task in front of them. They're gonna have to make some quick action to make sure the Model Y qualifies and to make sure that any of these price decreases, they do it strategically. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel as we continue to post content regularly. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Bearded Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll catch you next time.